Hey everybody, it's Allie Edwards, and in today's video I wanted to take you on a little journey back through my One Little Word project for 2022. My One Little Word was pause this past year, and since 2011 I have been involved le leading and or contributing to a workshop called One Little Word, which is a 12-month adventure in walking with your word, and our team now provides you with creative prompts, and or ways to think about uh, meeting up with your word once a month over the course of the year. This helps you not to forget what your word is. It helps you in terms of getting closer to maybe the reasons why you would have picked a word in the first place, right? And the, the intentions that you have going along with the word. And what I have come to know more than anything for myself is that it's the documentation piece that really makes a big difference for me personally. We have many different people who participate in this project. Some people do a binder album like I'm going to show you here. Other people work in a journal. Some people just listen. Other people uh, type notes up on their computer, right? There's lots of different ways that you can go about the process of having a word. For me, it's the documentation that really um, makes it special, right? Because it gives me this opportunity to be able to look back and to see what did I write and what was I thinking uh, at, at given points in time over the course of the year and how was that impacting um, what it was like for me to have a word. So this past year, you're going to see I'm using, I used a collection of, of products that we offered on our website. So some of them are from a One Little Word main kit. And then we also offer One Little Word mini kit. So those are some of the supporting products that you're going to see here. Again, and this is not something that you, you know, you don't have to go out and buy all of these things. This is the way that, or this is one of the ways that the workshop evolves over time. So I'm going to just show you a little bit about that. So we always start off with um, a kind of a deep dive into what is the meaning of our word and when, what are the things that you want to work on this year? Um, you know, what's the actual definition and what do you want to invite into your life this year? So this is a little opportunity to look ahead. So that's how we start in January. In February this year, we did a vision board. Uh, we actually approached it more just from the concept of vision, like what, you know, envisioning your word and, and what does your word look like to you from a visual standpoint. I did my vision board uh, pretty simply this year and within the album itself. This is what was speaking to me um, with my own word, which this year was pause. Um, so 2022, my word was pause. So here's a couple different ways that I put that together. In March, we did a conversation with ourselves and then a conversation with our word. This was led by uh, Liz Lamaru. Uh, Lucretia led the previous, the vision board post. And then you end up, we end up writing a poem about our word. This was one of my most uh, meaningful when I looked back over the course of the year. Uh, so again, each month we are simply showing up. We are invited to show up again. We are invited to do some sort of a creative practice related to our word or respond to a prompt. Um, March or for April was an adventure, having an adventure. And then I documented what uh, mine was for this particular year, which actually ended up uh, being uh, meeting with a new therapist. And so that's the story that I'm detailing here. So you can see like... Words take effort, right? Words mean we show up. Words mean we have reflected or we are thinking or we are in touch uh, with the words that we've chosen for this year. And this workshop is an opportunity to say yes to that invitation, right? Um, next chapter, then May, we've got our practicing month where we do... Um, we have a practice prompt where we encourage you to practice something. Uh, we've mixed this up a little bit in terms of what month it, it was. This last year, I wrote postcards to people, one postcard a day over the course of the month. That was really great. Um, then in June, we do a progress. We have a check-in, simple, simple reflections, right? You can see how some of these can be more creative. Some of them are more um, question and response sort of thing. It just kind of depends on what month we are working at. Then in July, we've got small wins. This was, I think, uh, Felicitas this year invited us to focus on some small wins related to our word or just small wins in our life. Again, I am choosing to creatively document this in this sort of way. Other members of our team are doing things in a journal. They're just making lists, lots of different ways that you can approach this and, and 
participate uh, in the workshop if that's of interest to you. And you can also always do this on your own too. Maybe you have your own flow of how you like to document uh, the course of the year. I think having a workshop with a community of people gives a little bit of accountability and uh, that that is a often a bigger win uh, for me there too. Pressing pause, so focusing on pause. Then in August, we did a little bit of just where do you need to be this month? And so I used some of the different cards that we'd had, wrote a little note to myself, filling in some of the blanks here. You know, what are things that I never wanted to forget about this? What are things I'm giving thanks for? In September, um, this is from a, a prompt from Azari where we were using uh, the lens of light to see our words through the lenses of our camera. And that was also a very beautiful prompt. I love that one. I love being able to go back in here and look at photos, intentional photos that I took where I was trying to capture the light. And for me, that was a direct um, connection to the word pause, right? Pausing to see the light all around me and then photographing it and then bringing it all together here in a collage. So some photography, some written stuff, some collage. Let's see, I'm not even sure finding different things in here. I did I did a little bit less of that this year. Um, then in October, I went ahead and documented a conversation with Aaron. This was our conversation month. I love how this turned out. Um, I have a, it's actually a transcript of a conversation that I had with him where I was asking questions about uh, my word and, and what his reflections were on where I'm at, which having a trusted person to have that conversation with um, was very valuable uh, to me as a person. Then in November, we did an I am prompt here. So all of the things that I am doing related to my word and the words that I am saying to myself, uh, that was in November. And then I wrote a big thing up here. I also did I am prompts um, each week uh, in November as well. And then uh, coming in to December where we talk about what we want to remember and what are the things that were impactful for us uh, over the, or for me over the last year, having this word pause as I get ready to have a new word uh, in 2023. My new word for next year is going to be joy. So I'm super excited to dive into what is that going to look like? being curious about joy last year. I was curious about pausing and that had a pretty, pretty impactful, um, had a pretty impactful year related to that word. And it's not always like that. It's not always as, as impactful, but this year it really, it really worked. Um, that particular word really worked for me. And some years I'm closer to the words than others. And this was one of those that had a lasting impression on me. So if you're interested in uh, checking out some of my other past albums, I have other videos on YouTube and on the blog where you can see a walkthrough of what past projects look like. Again, it doesn't have to look anything like this. Some people's will look very similar. Other people's will look completely different. Uh, but I want to give you an idea of what uh, a a completed project might look like uh, related to one little word. Again, this was my one little word for 2022, which was pause. And I am now moving on to 2023. Let's bring on some joy. Just a quick reminder too that if you'd like to join us in our One Little Word workshop this year, if you sign up before the end of 2022, which if you're watching this in real time is coming up in just a couple days, uh, you get $5 off of the workshop. It's $50 uh, is the regular price, which will be coming after January 1, and that's for 12 months of inspiration and uh, idea sharing and a live conversation each month, a live Zoom call, which has been really, really a wonderful opportunity for our community to connect with each other. So if you want to get it for $45, you can sign up uh, before the end of 2022. Other than that, we'd love to have you and I hope you have a fantastic uh, 2023.